from overcorrection. All right, so overcorrection, first off, is it, it, it's, <laughs> it's a reduction procedure. It's a behavior reduction procedure. Uh, the point is with overcorrection that it can't really stand alone. It, overcorrection, what, what are you going to make them do? Um, so overcorrection goes with something called positive practice or goes with restitution um, or the heck, you could do them all together, restitutional positive practice overcorrection. So again, so if the if the person engages in inappropriate behavior, maybe I knock this whole desk over or something like that, uh, the cameraman's going to make me then pick the desk back up and then I might do it again and make me pick it up and do it again. Anyway, the positive practice, this, I, I'm not supposed to say positive practice, it's a different video. Anyway, the idea is that that whatever effortful, effort, effortful behavior that you're supposed to engage in as part of overcorrection is supposed to be related to the behavior in question anyway. So, um, so maybe I pick the desk back up um, and it, restitution, it's almost restitutional, not quite. But then if I knock it again, pick it up, knock it down, pick it up, knock it down, pick it up, knock it down, pick it up. That's a type of overcorrection. Again, you don't use it by itself. You use it with positive practice or you use it with um, restitution. So um, I think that's enough.